Hello world, in today's video we will be learning about the Fibonacci series in Edge Reader for Programming. Fibonacci series. We all are familiar with the Fibonacci series. It starts with 0, 1 and now it will keep on adding the consecutive last two number that is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and it will move on. So we will be dealing about writing the program in 805 to generate this number. So let's start it. Let's assume that um, our memory location starts from 3000 years. Let's make the visual representation of memory blocks. This look like these are the memory blocks and uh, this is the 3000 years our starting memory location. And the register pair available for us are A, B, C, D, E, and H L. As we know, we have to provide this first two number uh, so that we can generate the other remaining number. So at first, um, we have to place this zero in this first memory location and one in the second memory location. Okay. For that, um, <coughs> we have to place the, this location 3000 years in some memory register. Sorry, in register pair. For that, we have the instruction LXI yes comma 3000 years now um, by using this instruction we, we we have access to the imaginary register that is m register uh, so the m register will be pointing towards the memory location in which um, the um, uh, current pointer in which the we are pointing so you now in this case uh, m will be pointing to this memory block so we have to paste uh, this zero in this uh, this location for that we have the instruction mbi m comma zero zero h uh, so we are using the immediate data to place inside the m so m is pointing towards the 3000 years so uh, in result zero will be placed here now uh, we have to increase this memory pointer so that we can play we can place one uh, in this uh, this memory location so for that we have the instruction inx Yes. Now, yum will be pointing towards this memory block, uh, memory location. And so, uh, we can use the instruction yum yi yum comma zero one yet. <coughs> now we have placed this um, value yum here. Now, so let's assume we we, we have to print um, ten uh, Fibonacci series. Ten Fibonacci series. We have already printed uh, or set these two value. So. Um, so we can set the counter as the 8 because we can print uh, remaining 8 number for that uh, we can use the um, instruction mbi c comma 08 h that means i have uh, used the use this c register as the counter hl as the memory pointer now that's uh, till now now um, the main logic uh, will start from here Now our memory pointer is pointing in this uh, this memory location. At first, let's uh, place this um, place this value in some uh, register pair so we can use easily, we can use later to add add that number. Uh, so let's place this uh, number in the accumulator in that is in a register. For that, we have the instruction yumob yum a. That means uh, we are copying the value of yum in the a and the yum is pointing in this location so currently uh, yum in first iteration yum has value one now we have to, <coughs> we have to add these two number so let's uh, decrease our pointer and reach to this location for that we have the instruction dcx yes uh, now our memory pointer is pointing in this location uh, so we can access this um, by using the register yum so, so if we do this instruction add uh, yum and this will perform the following action a gives a plus m that means um, <coughs> that means the um, value of the accumulator that is uh, sorry this is yeah, a value of accumulator a and the m that is zero will be added um, m equals to zero and uh, by after performing this instruction a will, a will be equals to one plus zero which is equals to one now in the a register we have the um, value of this two this number after adding uh, so we have to place this uh, result in this location 
but we are currently in this um, in this location so we have to increase the memory pointed um, by two location we can do that by using inx yet this will reach there and again inx yet now the memory pointer agrees to this location let's remove this <coughs> now we can access this um, location by using yum pointer now we have the value of the um, uh, sum in this a register so we can use this instruction a yum that is yum yum location is getting the value of accumulator that is one this is the result we obtained here now this is the first uh, iteration in first iteration we have uh, added uh, this two number and place in the next location that is this now we have to repeat this loop until this um, counter becomes zero for that uh, we have to decrease the value of the counter by using dcrc now we have to check the flag register until the counter becomes zero and when counter becomes zero we have to halt the program uh, we can check uh, the flag register by using jnz up up is the level you can use any i have used up in this case then what jnz jnz do is um, it check the flag register and there is zero flag and on when the zero flag is set uh, uh, when zero flag is not set it will move toward this level and when zero flag is set it will move uh, below this uh, line so uh, we have to keep this level in this place because our main logic is inside this part now when the um, uh, counter becomes zero we have to halt the program so this is the main logic behind the Fibonacci series uh, now let's uh, dry run this program and check if it is correct or not now in next iteration the counter becomes 7 <coughs> so when the counter becomes 7 uh, we have uh, moved the memory uh, pointing to accumulator that is accumulator will be this value 1 and we have decreased the value of uh, memory pointer so uh, yum will be pointing towards this this location and uh, we have perform yum that is a equals to a plus yum that is uh, a is 1 plus yum is also 1 which is equals to now we have increased this by two times that is first here it comes here and again it comes here um, so, and we have placed the value um, of the accumulator in that memory location that is 2 will come here and we have again decreased the counter uh, so at the so in next iteration it will become 6 since it is not 0 uh, so the loop will so the program will come to this location and it will it will move uh, until it becomes 0 when it becomes 0 the program flow will come to this location and the program will halt so that's for now if you have any confusion or any question then you